Hi everyone. People have been asking me if I can talk about some natural therapies for menopause, and definitely. Um, so what are those symptoms that women can have in menopause? Classically, hot flashes, night sweats, disrupted sleep, um, difficulty with word finding, kind of mood changes like a propensity to anxiety and, and poor mood, irritability. Um, diminished sex drive, vaginal dryness, and even things like hair loss, kind of loss of luster in the skin, and um, just overall kind of crepiness in the skin. These are the complaints I hear from women and what I experience myself. And so by far and away, the best way to treat all these things is with bioidentical estrogen um, because they're mostly more to the point. Um, but short of that, if that's something you're if you're not interested in doing, you can work with adrenal support because after the ovary stop functioning, the adrenal glands really try to pick up the slack. So the adrenal cortex has the capacity to make some estrogen for you and testosterone, which also dramatically falls in menopause. So keeping the adrenals healthy so they can do the best job they possibly can can make an enormous difference. And how do you do that? You can take glandulars, like my favorite, it's called Cytozyme AD, and this is kind of an activating supplement, but it will provide the nutritional building blocks that you need to keep your adrenal strong. You can do adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha, or holy basil, or rhodiola, you know, these things have been shown to to kind of like support the adrenals and actually modulate stress a little bit. And over time, they can be very calming to the nervous system as well as kind of like restorative to the adrenals. And then you can work with some of the adrenal hormones that can decline with age that are hormones in their own right with their own actions, but also have our precursors to the adrenal production of estradiol and testosterone. So DHEA and pregnenolone. So for women, you don't need very high doses of DHEA usually. Typical dose is 10 milligrams. Occasionally a woman only needs five. Occasionally a woman needs 20 or 25, but that's pretty rare. Pregnenolone, um, typical dose is 30 milligrams. Sometimes a woman needs just 10 or 20. Oftentimes, 30 is enough <clears throat> in the right dose, but occasionally a woman needs about 60 or rarely 90 milligrams of pregnenolone. So how do you know what kind of dose you need? Well, you're looking at how you feel on the hormone and ideally blood test. You starting and after, you the kind of level you're achieving and to see how those precursor hormones are being metabolized into estrogen and testosterone. So you want to take a look. And ideally, you would meet with a doctor skilled in bioidentical hormone balancing in order to do that. Um, other natural treatments for menopausal symptoms kind of are a little bit hit or miss, but we have black cohort and even um, vitamin E. Vitamin E is underappreciated, but it's really been shown to be helpful for heart function. Um, of course, lifestyle plays a role, so reducing alcohol consumption can allow for a much better night's sleep with fewer hot, hot flashes and night sweats, um, eating a very good dinner that, that keeps the blood sugar balanced throughout the night can help, and reducing sugar, caffeine, alcohol, stress, and, you know, yoga, meditation, all those things that can really help to just kind of keep you balanced. I hope that helps.